number on the gram. I will never understand. Can you with rich to care? I just woke up with the bands. 30 stops and we are friends. I just woke up, I'm in cans. Never let them have gang. It's your girl, America. Welcome back to my channel. You already know what's going on. Your girls is back with another video. And today, I will be coming to you guys live and direct with a chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, I know you probably like why you in the bed, but the intro video that I filmed, I didn't really like the way it looked. So yeah, this is the new one. And forget all the talking. Let's get into the video. Y'all, hey what's up? Um, so I'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows. And at first, y'all, I was just going crazy about my uh the way the camera looked because I didn't have the brightness up on my phone. I do have a camera, y'all, but unfortunately, my MacBook is broken, so I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, film off that for a little minute so i am filming off of my iphone i need to get a new one because the content will be so much better and ignore the shadow in the background y'all just got a lot going on right now but i'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows and then we're gonna get into the hair um and yeah i'm just gonna talk to y'all this is gonna be a chit chat get ready with me um yeah so i know y'all probably wondering like where i've been and um to be honest i haven't been on youtube since i uploaded my prom vlog or whatever and uh yeah, to be honest with y'all i don't know where i've been my skin looks so horrible right now y'all yeah to be honest i don't know where i've been like <laughs> if i'm being something like I had broke my MacBook, so breaking my MacBook was kind of just, like, downhill for me. Because I don't know how to get the footage from my camera to my phone. So, yeah. For some odd reason. I don't know why. But I used this NYX eyebrow pencil. And, yeah. Um, so, y'all, let me tell y'all. This has been an eventful February already into 2020. And this February has been something else, y'all. Um... So, a lot of y'all, when y'all see this, y'all gonna be like, girl, where have you been? I haven't been on social media since my birthday. My birthday was February 6th, and today is February 13th. So, I haven't been on social media for a minute, to me, because I'm usually posting on social media, like, every day, all day, 24-7. Don't miss a beat, okay? That's me. That's me on social media. So, yeah, that's kind of what what's going on but i'm gonna post on there to tell y'all to watch this video though but other than that i'm not really posting i might take pictures after this depending on what i look like but yeah y'all your girls is your girls is not on social media and i'm about to tell y'all why so um a couple days before my birthday some stuff happened and um, I'm not really gonna say too much about the situation because I don't need people to think that they're important to get a video out of me. But not even just that, but like, it's just people really be watching me y'all and it's not just one person, like it's multiple people and it's really kind of throwing me off because I'm just like, what are you watching me for? Um, and what like people were like sending, sending stuff to people that I don't even talk to anymore and it's just really throwing me off. So, I know y'all know, like, the whole little close friends on Instagram thing. And, yeah, so I had a close friends list. And I don't know who the hell on that close friends list is cool with people that I'm not cool with. But they were, like, screenshotting stuff and sending it to people that I don't mess with. And then, like, um, people who don't like me supposedly don't like me but you know what that really means they're really obsessed um was like watching me and i just don't understand what people watch me for and people see stuff that you post on social media and they think they know you and i don't want nobody thinking that they know me so i'm just like i'm done posting on social media it's just a lot of a lot of weird stuff going on so i'm gonna wait until that died down then maybe i'll start back posting on social media but i just feel like it's gonna get to the point where i'm gonna be comfortable with not posting on social media and then i'm gonna just not post at all um i don't really think i'm important so i don't really think that nobody cares so i don't really think that i need to post on social media but i do do youtube so um that's probably the only reason that i'll be posting on there now that i really don't have much to do since i'm not really on instagram and stuff like that i'm gonna be doing more youtube more painting finding more hobbies for myself um 
yeah so as y'all can see i filled in the brows um yeah y'all this can't this lighting is really throwing me off because it does not look good i don't know what's going on y'all tell me what y'all think i think it's the blind that's kind of throwing everything off but it'll look so much better once i get everything else in order so i use this pro concealer um in the color toffee i don't usually use this but this is all i have so that's what we're gonna use so i just take it and put it on my hand um yeah and get to going i don't really like blending y'all so that's why i don't like this concealer the other concealer i use matches like perfectly i ain't really got to do too much but this this is a little light so i have to actually make sure that i blend it all out and i hate that so yeah um but yeah like the whole social media thing it's just getting real weird on the social media stuff and i was just always feeling like i had to post something on social media and yeah um no it's not really a good habit to have so yeah, I'm just really off of social media. Like I said, if I look cute after this, I'm going to post a little picture. Um, yeah, I deleted all my pictures. Well, I didn't delete them. I archived all my pictures off of there. So, if y'all wondering, like, why um, you don't see any pictures, that's why. That's too much, y'all, already. I hate this concealer. Y'all see how light that is? Like, oh, I hate this concealer. But it's all I have to work with, y'all. So, we got to... Gotta do what we gotta do. So I got my eyebrows waxed, y'all, and usually I get them threaded. And yeah, I'm super happy with the outcome. It's been a little minute though, y'all, so they don't look too, too perfect, but they're a little, I don't know. On camera, they look dark, but right here, they don't look dark. I don't know, y'all. I ain't gonna stress myself about it, but um, yeah, so that's the whole why I'm not on social media thing right now. Um, I put this wig on by myself, which is really shocking, y'all. But I had paid to get my hair done for my birthday, and it was just, like, all lace left. So I had to, like, cut all the lace off, y'all. And it probably still don't look that good, but it looked better than what it did look. This is my first wig installment by myself, so don't roast me, y'all. Don't roast me. Don't come for me, sis. But, um, yeah, that's why I'm off of social media because it's just too much keeping up with merit going on from a lot of different angles and I ain't with it. So, yeah, y'all can keep up with me on YouTube. Okay, you want to know something about Lil' Merit? Give her some views on YouTube. What are you talking about? Not for real though, y'all, but. Um, yeah, so, what else? What's been going on, y'all? Ain't nothing really been going on with me. But, um, if y'all, okay, so, also, back to the little whole social media thing. So, I don't think I really explained to y'all what happened, but, so, on close, I know y'all know close friends. On my close friends, I thought that, I'm not gonna say everybody was close friends, but I felt like it wasn't nobody really on there that was, like, I had to worry about screenshotting my stuff, sending it to people. But, like, even on my thing, like, I wasn't really, I wasn't talking about nobody. Like, I wasn't sitting up talking stuff about nobody or nothing. That's not what happened. I had post, um, basically that I'm, like, tired of life and, like, I'm not really on suicidal. Like, I'm not suicidal or nothing, but I'm just really tired of living. And people just took that and ran with it and just was sending it to people and... Somebody that I don't even like was in my close friends. Like, y'all, was just a lot of weird stuff going on with the close friends. Hold on, let me go with the beauty blender. A lot of weird stuff going on in the close friends, y'all, and I was not with that. So, I was just like, mm-mm. And then, like, people really be thinking that they know you off of social media. And that's just, like, with anybody else. Not even just including the people that I don't like. Like, people really think they be knowing you because of social media. And I don't like that. So, what y'all my enemy be saying? I don't like that. <laughs> but not for real, I don't like that. And I'm just tired of people keeping up with me 
And I'm tired of people thinking they know me. I think I've said that like a thousand times already, but I'm going to keep on saying it until y'all get enough of it and y'all understand the vibes and all of that. Because, yeah, that's just that on that. But, um, yeah, that's why I'm not on social media at the moment. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be off social media. I just up and decided that, like, I wouldn't say it was a, like for it as far as a challenge for myself, but I was just like, yeah, I'm done posting on social media. Like, yeah, I have posted for my sister's birthday, but that's my baby, so I had to post her, y'all. That's my baby sister. And she's part of the Aquarius gang, so like, how could I not post her? So that's why I have posted when I did post. But other than that, no, ma'am, no, hell, no, turkey. So I'm about to get a new job, y'all, and I'm super duper excited about that um yeah so that's that's kind of what's going on at the moment y'all girl let me tell you about my birthday and how my birthday got ruined i know some of y'all saw on instagram i was like my day got ruined and everybody asked what happened and i probably i only told one person y'all one person so nobody knows so i'm basically kind of telling y'all what happened so um on my birthday i got my hair done boom so i came up with all this hair color and everything like like so last minute but i'm tough at the dye and stuff so i was just like forget it so this is 613 hair and it is from um nadula and it's actually a wig y'all and uh yeah so i dyed this ash blonde and um I did have a birthday vlog, but my birthday just got ruined, so it was like no vlog. It was just gonna be me crying and explaining to y'all how it went wrong, so I'm not uploading that. But I can kind of tell y'all what happened. So basically, um, a lot of BS happened. That's what happened. But um, but yeah, um. So I went to go get my hair done, cool. Um, and getting my hair done kind of made me upset because your girls had to get up earlier than I had to get up. Then I had to go there and I had to sit and wait. So I was already mad about that. But I wasn't really mad about it because it wasn't like a super duper long wait. But I was irritated because I had only got two hours of sleep because I had just went to sleep at like 7 o'clock that morning. And my hair appointment wasn't until 12, but I had to be there like earlier than expected. So I had only got two hours of sleep. So then, y'all, after that, while I was getting my hair done, the lady uh, who was doing my makeup, she did my makeup for prom. She was like, yeah, um, basically, her mama had surgery at 130, and she's not leaving until her mama's done with surgery. So, first off, this is not the first time that I didn't got that BS lie, which I'm tired of people using. Like, they always trying to say, some, like, a family member something in the hospital or had surgery because somebody told me the same thing uh, with my hair. Of like Christmas time, they were like, they people's had surgery. So I'm like, okay, I heard this BS lie. But she was like, you can call me and we could talk options, right? But it was only fake. FaceTime was only option. And at the time, I was under the dryer. So I was like, yes, yeah, sis, I can't really talk to you right now. One, and for two, I'm not gonna just FaceTime you like we cool or something. Like, I wanna call, talk over the phone. So yeah, um, so basically, long story short, I never heard back from her. Um, and so I found this other lady on Instagram who, who did makeup. And, y'all, I picked Soft Glam because for prom, I did not like my makeup because it was too much to me. It was, it was way, way close up on the brows, y'all. That's what they look like. Um, yeah. Really, I asked for a natural, like, Soft Glam makeup, y'all. I just feel like I don't look like myself. Somebody seen me, they wouldn't know who I was, and I'm over it. Like, what the anyway, so I found somebody else on Instagram, and yeah, her makeup looked really good. And as I was saying, my bad, y'all, I didn't finish saying. When I got my makeup done for prom, I didn't like it because it was too much. I like to look like myself. I, don't, I didn't look like myself on prom. Like, I, I just looked different. So, this time for my birthday, I'm like, I don't want all that makeup. I just want a little soft glam look. You know, some foundation, some some, some cute little eyeshadow, and some lashes. That's all I want. Y'all, 
She put so much makeup on my face. I didn't recognize myself. She had put so much liner on me. It was just a freaking disaster. And then, like, I had plans to, like, go out to dinner to, like, this little fancy restaurant or whatever. I didn't even have nothing to wear. And then, like, at the last minute, all my plans got canceled. So, y'all, I literally sat and cried my makeup off because it was already ugly. So, I really didn't care about that. But, y'all, that makeup was $70. And that $70 could have went to give me some lash extensions, boo. Like, I didn't even have to spend that money on the makeup because it was ugly. So I was just, my birthday was just a whole disaster, y'all. And I was so freaking heated. Like, I don't think I understand. I was so mad. But yeah, um, it's kind of what happened. But I'm about to go get lashes. And then. So yeah, y'all, I'm not really much of a lash person. But I feel like with this hair, like, to just bring the look of the hair all together, I have to use, um, dang it. I have to put on lashes. And so I'm about to put on. I'm about to fix my brows a little bit. Mm. Yeah, but like I, I don't really wear lashes, y'all. Like, if you really know me, you know, like, I don't really wear lashes. But for the sake of this, like, I have to. Look at my eyes. I usually just put on mascara and go. But, I, you know, like, I got a look going on. Look at the hair color, like. Okay, I gotta close. Okay, y'all, so I have my door open right now. And, yeah, I'm getting really creeped out because I thought somebody was sitting here looking at me. So, hold on, let me close the door because your girl's not trying to be scared. I closed the door. So, now I'm going to take my Morphe setting spray and I'm about to just spray these brows real quick before I do anything else. Um, I'm only doing brows. I don't do foundation and all that. From the looks of it, I really should probably use it, but you know, I'm just about to spray my face. Woo! And then I really like this because it gives me time to go back and do some more blending if I didn't already blend too well. I don't want to use. I don't want to use beauty. Ooh, your girl's phone is dying, guys. It's on ten percent. But that ain't gonna stop. That ain't gonna stop a real beauty. Oh, y'all can see my bathroom <laughs> in the reflection. And it probably look real bad from, from that to view. So yeah, I just kind of blend my eyebrows out some more if I didn't. Cause like, I don't know if I told y'all this, but I'm not a good blender. Like, not at all. So, we just bought the fan beaks brows. But, yeah, y'all, my birthday was just a disaster. Oh, you know, and, and if that's not already enough, if that's not already enough, let me tell y'all about this uh, school stuff, right? So, uh, first off, I was supposed to be going to, uh, I was supposed to be going to Maryville, university online school and i was supposed to start that in october i didn't start till february um hold on y'all i can't talk and do stuff at the same time so i'm gonna finish the story so i, I got some hair glue and uh, i thought i didn't have none and i looked in there i got this big old thing but i'm about to put the lashes on so before we even get into this story um i don't use tweet well i did I, I did used to use tweezers i don't know where they at though so i can't use them at the moment but um i'm about to take a bobby pin and put some light some glue on there and yeah we just about to put these bad boys on I suck at putting lashes on y'all. And I usually get glue everywhere, but I just go back and clean up the glue. So, so actually, I'm going to do my lashes off camera, and then I'm going to come back. Cause, okay, so we got these lashes on, y'all, and it took so much time doing them lashes. That's exactly why I ain't doing my camera. Because these probably it probably will make y'all cringe to even watch me 
I'm just putting mascara on them now. But it would probably make y'all cringe to sit there and watch me do that. So, a little up close. My skin look dry, y'all. And I literally just put some more. Oh, I put some. I did my whole little skin thing before I even came on here. And with my Pond's Moisturizer. I don't really be getting up moisturizing my face every day. Like, I'll do, I'll wash the face, but I ain't finna put moisturizer and all that on. Because I just, I don't really do it much. So, it ain't no need for all that. But. Ugh, there we go. Now we looking like moisturized. Okay, so now... Gonna move on to the hair. We did the eyebrows and the lashes, which is all I do. I wish I knew how to do the rest of the makeup, y'all, but I really don't. So we're not gonna mess anything up today. But yeah, so now we're about to move on to the hair. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna move on to hair. Um, I got this hair from Nadula. And it's a wig, it's a 613 wig. And what I'm gonna do is, I don't like this hair straight. So, I'm going to crimp it, basically. I said crimp it. Crimp it, basically. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, what I, I don't really like that yellow blonde. So, what I did was, I went in with a ash blonde and a medium blonde. And I blonde and I dyed it. Um, I can insert clips and show y'all the dye that I used. Um, yeah. Um, the wig came plucked and all that already, y'all. I just had to, um, what did I have to do? Well, it got plucked some more when I actually went to get it installed, but this time I installed it myself. I got it installed on my birthday, but a couple of days after, it was off. Because I didn't like the way my hair looked. So, I cut all the lace off so it looked like this. And yeah. So, I really don't like this hair straightening, y'all. But I am about to straighten the hair first. And then after I straighten the hair, then I'm going to go in and crimp it. So, while I'm straightening the hair, I'm going to still be talking to y'all. But when I actually crimp the hair, I'm going to fast forward it. Because we probably already at a lot of minutes. But anyway, y'all, so I'm going to just briefly talk to y'all about, let me go get some clips, y'all. Y'all, so tell me why I started a whole little story time. I had to start flat ironing my hair and everything, y'all. And my phone went dead, so the video that I was recording, it got lost. So basically, I got to retell my story. And um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm flat ironing my hair first. I really, at first, I didn't like my hair straightening, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to straighten it first, and then I'm going to crimp it. But if I like it straight, I'm not crimping it. And um, so I got this hair from Nadula, and it's the 613 hair. This hair is in a 22-inch. This is the longest they have that came in the blonde. So, yeah, I wish I could have got it longer, but they didn't have anything longer. It looks like it was already straightened, but we're going to straighten it again. Oh, I got to read. So basically, y'all, the good thing about recording off your phone is that you can um you can go you can start like after your phone go there, you can just put it on the charger. But if I, it was my camera, I would the camera take like hours to charge. So that's the perk of recording off of a phone and recording off a camera. So anyway, y'all. I was telling y'all the story about what happened with school. So basically, um, to kind of start, I go to Maryville University and I do online on their online school. And my major is healthcare management. Not that probably anybody cares, but yeah, my uh, major is healthcare management. And yeah, y'all, that's just that. So I was supposed to start school in October. In October, um, yeah, I was supposed to start school in October, 
And what happened was my academic advisor told me like some days before I was supposed to start school that basically they didn't have all my information in. And when I went to Rosati, I paid for a college course at Truman University and basically he said he needed that transcript. They didn't receive that transcript. And a whole lot of miscommunication happened. I was communicating with him for weeks, y'all. He told me, like, oh, you have everything in. Um, but he had never sent, like, like an accept. You got accepted or anything. So I'm like, something not right. So basically, at the last minute, I was told that I couldn't start school until January. Um, yeah, so that was just so much fun, y'all. And so now it's January, and... As y'all know, y'all we fill out for we filled out for fast for our freaking senior year of high school, like 2018, baby. It's 2020. And basically, if y'all don't know, I got accepted into a lot of schools. The whole thing with me is just school was just too expensive. And yeah, I didn't want to stay on a college in the college dorm. That has always just gave me anxiety. So I was like, mm -mm, can't do it. So I just decided to get my own apartment and stuff. Y'all don't know that, that I have my own apartment. Y'all don't know anything. I haven't been on YouTube since prom, y'all. Y'all don't know absolutely nothing. Y'all missed out on a lot for years. But, yeah. So, all of the schools would tell me, like, you know, we can't clear your financial aid. Like, the whole time I was graduating because you don't. You have to turn in your legal guardianship papers. So, if you guys don't know, my mom passed away in um 2015. And, basically, what happens is... You like if a parent passed away, you either go to your other parent or you go into foster care or somebody else becomes your legal guardian. Um, so my grandma, my granny became my legal guardian, and basically, you have to turn in the papers from the court saying that you were in legal guardianship. So basically, that's what Maryville was telling me that I needed. So I turned that in, and then they start saying like that um, I needed this other paper. And I turned that in. So basically, I would go into my Maryville account. And it would say, like, check. They will always send me emails that say, check your financial aid checklist. And I finally have figured out that I needed a second paper. And the second paper is just, like, your signature and saying, like, what the paper is that you sent to them. So they know what it is. Like, it's not really a consent form, but it's kind of a consent form. That's, that's the best way I could put it because... I don't really know what it's called, and I ain't about to go look at my email for it either. So, yeah, y'all. So, basically, that's what happened. So, um, now, I looked into, like, last, this just happened last night. I had looked into my email, and my school email, and they're like, oh, you have a $100 late fee because you didn't pay your, your stuff. So, basically, y'all, I get, like six almost seven thousand dollars back from fafsa and my classes are only forty eight hundred y'all so you do the math but my fafsa well enough covers that and basically they telling me like that i got a late fee because i ain't paying it so basically in the email is telling me that i have to pay 1650 by february 15th which is in two days where they're going to keep on adding on late fees basically is what they trying to say and I'm like, so the lady emailed me was like, you didn't turn in your legal guardianship paper. I'm okay. Then they said that I didn't turn in the other paper that I told y'all about when I called. So basically y'all saying y'all don't have none of the information that I sent to y'all. And I was just like, hmm? What? Are you serious? And they like tacking on late fees. They like, you got a hundred dollar late fee and then if you don't pay it's gonna be like 25 dollars every so and so and so and i'm just sitting there flabbergasted because it's just like what so i'm about to see if i like it straight should i keep it straight or should i crimp it i don't know i don't really like this hair straight mm. should i keep it straight y'all i kind of want to crimp it Or should I just keep it straight? I think I'm going to crimp it. Because I don't like it straight. Yeah, I think I'm going to crimp my hair. Let me go look in the bathroom real quick. And then I'll really a crimp. It's like a wave iron thingy thing. But I don't like this hair straight. And yeah. Yeah, I don't like 
his hair straight at all. And I don't know how to do curls with the flat irons, so I'm about to wave it up because I don't like this straight. But um, yeah, y'all, that's that's what happened with the school situation. And they actually emailed me while I was uh, like while I was getting ready to record this video. So I'm gonna go look at that when I get finished with this. Um, cause they got me bent. Like I'm not like it's not my fault that they keep losing paperwork. Cause that's what they did the first time. Lost paper. Like they keep losing my paperwork. Like I just sent that document in more than once, and they still keep talking about they ain't got it. So I sent them a little nasty email. My granny also sent them a nasty email. So uh, yeah, they should be getting back to me about that. So basically, this is a wave iron. You can get this. I'm pretty sure you get this from Walmart. I don't know where I got it from. Well, technically it wasn't mine at first. It was my auntie. Somebody gave my auntie this, but she never used it and didn't know how to use it. So I'm gonna I always used it. And yeah, so before I do this, I'm just gonna go through my hair and uh I'm gonna add some of this fresh free serum. People always be talking about YouTubers with the hand, but I swear if y'all don't use the hand, then you're not going to be able to see the product. So, this is kind of thick, but y'all, I don't like 613 hair. Oh, no. I probably won't use 613 hair again. Because it's just not good, you know? I also didn't wash, when I dyed it, I did not wash the hair, so I kind of think that's another problem. But, yeah. Um, so... Um, I'm gonna just kind of tell y'all, like, I told y'all I'm not recording the, uh, the crimping process. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna fast forward it, but I'm just talking to y'all now about this hair. So basically it was 613 hair at first, and I don't like that yellow blonde look, so I was like, I need to tone the blonde, the blonde down a lot. And so what I did was I went to the store and I got this does not look good right now something ain't right but um yeah so i was like i have to turn it down so i went to the store and i got revlon ash blonde so don't try to go to the beauty supply stores you know for black people because they're not gonna have it you have to go to like walgreens walmart that sells white people products because yeah this is their hair dye so you have to go get ash blonde and i use two ash blondes and one medium blonde to be honest, to me it wasn't enough. I wanted to go back and like get more, but I did it and it all turned out cool. Except if you look at the bottom of my hair, you'll be able to tell. Ooh, I can't put too much oil on here, y'all, but it's okay. But um, yeah, so we're about to start crimping and I'm gonna just show y'all how I do it and how it works. So yeah, it's good and well hot. And what you wanna do is you just wanna Take the hair and put it through the crimp. And then you want to hold it. I usually lock it so I don't have to hold it the whole time. And you just count, like, I don't know, however long you want to count. Um, yeah. So. And there we go. That's the first little wine thing that we got going on. I'm gonna actually take less hair off of here so I can do the whole thing. And then I'll come back on here when I'm finished, y'all, with the whole head. Cause I'm gonna listen to music and I can't do that if I'm on here. And I think that's all I wanted to talk about with y'all anyway. So I'll see y'all when I...